All right, welcome back to the channel, everyone. I'm out here in the garage messing around today. It's been a long time since I've done a video. I know when I started the channel, I told you guys I'd be getting a bunch of different stuff up there other than fishing stuff. I'm going to try to do better than that. When I get into this stuff, I'm just normally, you know, it's crunch time. I don't have time to video and mess around. But today, I'm just out here messing around, so that's what we're going to do. So what we've got here is a 2007 Skidoo MXZ Renegade 800HO Powertech engine. This is the P-Tech engine, not the R. Okay, the old sled. What happened is I blew it up a couple years ago and uh, totaled the case out of the thing. Blew a big hole in the bottom. So uh, I'm just now getting the old crank out. I ended up getting a short block, putting a whole new motor in it. But I'm salvaging this crank and I'm going to throw a new rod on it and... La -ti da I build myself a spare motor, but it's a real good time. When I first got this sled, I was confused on where to put the Isoflex grease, how to re-grease these outer bearings on the mag side and the clutch PTO side of the snowmobile. I looked at a lot of videos, and none of them are really clear, and they all seem to want you to pull the seal, take your clutch off, take the retainer plate off, and pull this big seal off. Then they tell you to clean the grease out of here best you can, use your little syringe, fill it with Isofex, put a new seal, you're done. That's fine and dandy. The problem is you got two bearings here. Oh, greasing the face of the first one isn't really doing us much good, guys, okay? Now, Skidoo, they've put this little Zerk here. It's a little nipple. Pull this cap off, and let me show you what happens when you take a syringe with a rubber hose with your Isoflex. Hook it up right on this. Watch where this puts this grease for us, guys. See where that's coming out? Right in the middle of both of those. So as you're injecting that, have a buddy slowly pull the recoil over. Pull both spark plugs out so it rolls nice and slow and easy. And have him go nice and easy so that grease rolls right around in there as you're putting it in. Great way to do it. Look in your manual. 10 milliliters, 15 milliliters every other year. Whatever they recommend. Don't quote me on them figures. That's how to do the clutch side. Now, where is this in the motor? Let's run over to the sled and I'll show you real quick. Try to keep this short and sweet. What you do, pull this clutch off. Okay, boom. If you, if you don't have a puller, look for TRA clutch removal water trick. You can tilt the sled up on its side, pour water in this bolt hole, take this bolt, wrap a bunch of thread tape around the threads and wind it in. It will create hydraulic pressure with the water and it'll pop off for you. But where that is, is right there. You can see the cap. It's right in behind this clutch. Get a rubber hose on it, piece of cake. Now for your mag side. This side's a little trickier because you have to remove your recoil and then get a puller and pop your flywheel off. But it's important to do. Don't skimp on it. Do it in the summertime or something. Now how are you going to get to this? Okay, if we look here, we're going to have our stator bolted in. And this motor is upside down. This is actually the top. So don't let that confuse you. The three bolt holes are on the bottom. We've got a single one on top. Okay? All these bolt, all these holes go right through. They're all through holes. Okay, even the bottom. And how I can verify that for you is we'll put this in there. Now watch, I'll rotate the crank and you'll see that move. Okay, that's right in this bearing. And also look. Okay, see this recess cutaway right here that I'm pointing at? It's where the edge of this bearing sits. Notice where these holes come through. Perfectly lined up right with that gap, isn't it? Yes, sir. So what you're gonna to wanna to want to do, this is all together like this. Remove your north and south bolts. Okay, top and bottom. Get a 10 milliliter syringe. Put your isoflex in it. I believe they want five milliliters in this side. This threads right in. You push hard, thread it right into that. And again, have your buddy rot have a buddy rotate it as you're injecting. Watch the other vent hole that you've made. You have to have two bolts out to allow pressure and air to come out of one bolt. As you're injecting and he's rotating slowly, watch for grease to start coming out of here. As soon as you see it, stop. You cannot overfill this. Take this out. 
And then I will cut the cotton end off a Q-tip and use the stick, clean the grease out of these bolt holes, all of them, before the bolts go in. What can happen if you don't is you're going to create hydraulic pressure by tightening them bolts in there. And you'll blow the grease through the back end of the seal. It's just a little plastic cap shoved in the back of these bearings. Not a real good seal, so keep that in mind, guys. But I hope this cutaway shows you where the grease is going. Gives you a far better idea than what I had in my head when I first started messing with one of these. And uh, hope it saves you a headache and keeps you guys ripping down the trail. But anyway, again, 2007 Skidoo MXZ Renegade 800HO P-Tech. Powertech engine, not the R. The R could have the same setup. You'll have to verify that for yourself. I don't have an R. But hey, thanks for stopping by the channel. Hope you guys have all been doing good out there. Appreciate your time. Hope this helps you guys out. Everybody take care.